Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. Welcome back to your week 9 of lecture. So for this week, we're gonna discuss on the draw interactions. So for this week lecture, so I divided into five videos. So for this video, the first video, you should be able to define the draw interactions and classify their mechanisms. And aside that, you should be able to discuss the pharmaceutical interaction as well as the pharmacokinetic interaction at the absorption and distribution levels. So the second video, you need to be able to discuss the pharmacokinetic interaction in terms of metabolism. And the third video, in the excretion levels. And the fourth video, you should be able to identify the pharmacodynamic interactions and other drug herbs interaction or drug food interactions. And the last video, you should be able to integrate the conceptual and clinical aspect of these drug interactions. In general, uh, drug interactions defined as the pharmacological activity of one drug that being altered by the concomitant use of another drug or by the presence of some other substances. So in general, there are four types of drug interactions as you can see in this diagram. The first one is the drug-drug interaction which is the reactions between two or more drugs and followed by the drug food interaction is a reaction between a drug with the food or beverage the third one is the drug chemical interactions which is uh, usually countered by use of the supplements or any over the counter drugs or any herbs and the last one is the drug disease interaction which is a reaction that occur when taking a drug while having a certain medical condition which we discuss later so the drug whose activity is affected by such an interaction, we call it as an object drug. Meanwhile, to drugs uh, who the agent which precipitates such interaction, we refer as the precipitant. So this interaction can cause either quantitative effect or qualitative effect. For the quantitative effect, they can either increase or decrease the therapeutic effect. They are quite seldom in terms of qualitative effect which cause a rapid or slower the therapeutic effects. And another interaction sometimes call, uh, cause the adverse effects. So in general, there are three mechanisms by which these interactions can develop. So I will discuss further uh, later in few slides. So the first one is the pharmaceutical interaction, the second is the pharmacokinetic interaction, and the last one is the pharmacodynamic interactions. Pharmaceutical interaction, also called incompatibility, it is a physical chemical interaction that occur when drugs are mixed in IV infusions, causing precipitation or inactivation of active principles. So it can be happen during dissolving the drugs in solvents. As you can see in this picture, ceftriazone is one of the antibiotics that given intravenously when it diluted with the calcium solutions such as lactic ringers, it can cause precipitation as in this picture. It also can be happen during the administration, during time of administration as you can see in these rias tubes, there is precipitant in this rias tube. It also can be happen during mixing drugs in powder, solution, or any injection forms. For pharmacokinetic interactions, these interactions involve the absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion properties of the object drug that have been altered by the precipitant. So from this uh, from this phenomena, it can affect the plasma concentration of the object drugs, whether it can cause increase in terms of the bioavailability or decrease the bioavailability. So these interactions are classified as absorption interactions, distribution interactions, metabolism interaction, as well as the excretion interaction that we we'll discuss later. For the absorption interactions, it can only happen to drugs that formulated for oral administration. So it can affect the rate of absorption which either rapid or delaying the absorption rate as well as the extent of absorption which referring to how much drug being able to be absorbed in the GI systems. So there are five factors that will be discussed further later 
uh, that cause the uh, absorption interaction. The first one is the changes in the gastrointestinal pH, absorption chelation, and other complexing mechanism. The third one effects on the GI motility. The fourth one induction or inhibition the drug transport system, and the last one is the malabsorption. In general. Drug must be in non-ionized as well as lipid soluble form to be able to across this mucous membrane to the blood vessels. The changes in the gastrointestinal pH will alter the physical chemical properties of these drugs, such as the antifungal agents as well as the sulfonamide and aspirin. So, example, a patient who experienced the gastric or GERD. Uh, will encounter too much of acidic in the stomach, which required them to have antacids such as uh, gaviscon and elucid they are available in over the counter. Besides that, uh, they also may need histamine two antagonists such as ranitidine as well as the proton pump inhibitors such as osimeprazole. So these three agents can alter the gastric pH by exert the alkalinizing effect to reduce the acidity of the stomach. So the problem is this effect can significantly decrease the bioavailability of ketoconazole as well as the itraconazole which require the gastric acidity for optimal absorption. However, it contrasts the uh, agents such as sulfonamide which is the antibiotic and aspirin. These drugs uh, the, the alkalinizing effects of these drugs, in other words, can enhance the dissolution of this drug which is uh, increase the rate of absorption, which later on will increase the rate of absorption. Some of the object drug can interact with a metal ion which cause them to have a chelate with divalent or trivalent metal cation to form the insoluble complexes which these insoluble complexes will prevent the uh, drugs from absorption will later on greatly reduce in terms of plasma drug concentration. As example, bisphosphonate, which is the alendronate, usually taken to, uh, will be prescribed with the calcium in the treatment of osteoporosis. We as a pharmacist should consult the patient to have at least six hour break between these two drugs. Mean that one uh, patient taking the alendronate, there should wait about six hours before it's uh, consumed the calcium supplements. If these two drugs taken together or concomitantly, it will cause a chelation, form insoluble complexes, and will cause reduce in the in term of bioavailability which possibility of therapeutic failure another example such as antibiotic tetracycline or quinolones which we can interact with uh, ferrum supplements as well as antacids because antacids containing calcium magnesium and aluminium what happens is it form a big huge insoluble complexes which will prevent from absorption, later on reduce the bioavailability and reduce the therapeutic effects. I believe everyone are familiar with these two drugs which are the over-the-counter drugs, charcoal as well as the cholinpectin. This charcoal usually being uh, prescribed and suggested when you are in food poisoning. So actually these two drugs are the absorbents. When we say the absorbents means that these two drugs can absorb the object drugs which later on will reduce the absorption and reduce the bioavailability of these object drugs. Drug interaction also can be happen when there is some changes on the GI motility. Most of the drugs are being absorbed in the upper part of small intestine. There are some of the drugs will decrease the gut motility and delay the gastric emptying which later on will increase or decrease the absorption rate. As example, the opioids such as diamorphine as well as the petidine, these opioids will strongly inhibit the gastric emptying and greatly reduce the absorption rate of the paracetamol without affecting the extent of the absorption. Another example, methylcopromide, 
which will increase the gastric emptying and increase the absorption rate of paracetamol. This effect is quite good, it's used especially for therapeutic advantage in the management of migraine. So it can cause rapid analgesic effect of the panadol. One of the factors that cause drug interaction in the absorption profile is due to induction or inhibition of drug transport protein, such as the p glycoprotein the most famous one. So these drug transporter proteins can eject the drugs that have diffused across this gut lining back into the gut. Uh, as example, digocin. This is a substrate of p glycoprotein a drug that inhibit this p glycoprotein such as verapamil will cause the increase of digocin towards to the portal vein which later on will increase the digocin bioavailability the problem is this will cause potential of digocin toxicity another factors that cause the absorption interaction is malabsorption in general fat is usually broken down by enzyme lipase in the stomach and readily be absorbed in the body. Oristats, this one of the drugs that inhibit the gastric and pancreatic lipase, thereby preventing the hydrolysis of dietary fat to free fatty acid and triglyceride. Theoretically, it can lead to reduced absorption of fat-soluble drugs such as levothyroxine, antiepileptic drugs, and antiretroviral HIV when administered together with this or this type. Alright, before we having a short break, so let's discuss on the distribution interactions. So this distribution interaction can occur especially uh, the drugs and their metabolites we are highly bound to plasma protein to drugs which are acidic drug uh, tends to bind to the albumin such as warfarin and the drugs which are, has the basic drug property such as tca and lidocaine and propanolol is uh, prominently bound to the alpha 1 acid glycoprotein so what happened is uh, in this distribution interaction, they are also they're having this drug displacement interactions. Drug with the higher affinity will displace the lower affinity drug from its binding site. This will cause increase the free or amount fraction of the displaced drug. So the concentration of this free drug arise temporarily but it will force rapidly back to its previous steady state concentration due to the metabolism as well as the elimination.